Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up custom opportunity statuses. So much like our custom lead data and changing the lead disposition options, you can also change the opportunity status. So when you're creating an opportunity, you have different options than our default options, which are presentation, proposal sent, closed one, closed lost. So to do that, you're gonna come over here to controls, templates, data, data fields, Inside data fields, so again, if you watch the videos prior, you you got a good understanding of, of these options and how they work, but you're gonna come over here and hit create data field. And much like the lead status option, this name is not, it's just an internal reference for yourself for organization purposes, because opportunity status is associated with that dropdown. And so it's different than user info and lead data where you're actually creating a label. So in this case, I'm just gonna call this opportunity status, whatever you wanna call it. This is just your internal reference so you know what it is. Type, I'm gonna choose opportunity status and you'll see all the options disappear. Reason for that is all you're simply doing is, is adding options to that dropdown that remove our default. Uh, workspaces, I mentioned this several times in the previous examples. Workspaces are just for yourself. So if you're creating workspaces for organization purposes and in that particular workspace, you have different statuses that you wanna control for your opportunities, you can assign it to a workspace. If you're creating opportunity statuses that will be associated with users and changing their functionality or configuration, you're not gonna to wanna to assign to a workspace, you're actually gonna apply a user role and that's what I'm actually doing with this opportunity status. So I'm gonna hit add. And at that point, I'm gonna go into my opportunity status options and here are the configurations that you have set. So all you're doing is replacing the drop-down option with, within the opportunities tab, or when you create an opportunity, you can select that opportunity uh, options. This also changes the tabs in the opportunities Kanban board. So uh, here you can put whatever you want. So in this case, I'm gonna just put uh, op status one, Second option, let's say third option, closed one, closed lost. Okay, and then now I'm gonna apply this to user role. So anybody in this user role, their statuses will actually be this status. So I'm gonna go ahead and select support user role. And let me go out to that user now and show you what it looks like. So I'm looking for that support user role. I'm gonna log into James Gordon. I'm gonna come over here to leads. Uh, one thing you'll see if I click on opportunities, it's now showing me this options here that I just created, so not our default. So this can go on as far as you want, however many stages you want. So I'm gonna come into Harvey and I am going to add a quick little opportunity. So sample op, and now you'll see those statuses that I just set up. In this case, I'm gonna do second option, say 75%, do value $1,000, we'll say this is a monthly deal, and I'm gonna close it by the end of the month. So I'm gonna hit create. So now I have my opportunity, that's my status update, has been put into um, you know, the actual sample op uh, opportunity that I've set up, and if I go into the opportunities tab, you'll see that my opportunity is in the second option. Now I can move this just like you know, the other default options. So this is basically putting in, um, you know, whatever custom stages you want. You may have 15 stages just depending on what you're doing with your lead um, and your opportunity. So now you can configure those custom lead disposition statuses. So the lead actually has a status and then now you're creating an opportunity and you're customizing those statuses. Uh, so you can really see what stage you're in with that lead. And same thing here, you can go right back to your lead by just clicking here uh, within it. So opportunity statuses, really easy to set up. Uh, if you're setting up for users, make sure it's user roles. If you're trying to do it for yourself or setting up for yourself in separate workplaces, that's when you would apply the work, workspace to it.